Hi there, it's Kelk here, and in this series of videos we're looking at the more experimental side of both the Novation Peak and the Circuit Monostation synthesizers. This particular video we're going to explore a little bit more about um, the Circuit Monostation's oscillator sync. Now the way that we can use oscillator sync with its paraphonic behaviour, i.e. we can sequence oscillator 2 separately, means that we can create some very interesting and unusual sounds and melodies with the, uh, with the device. So, without further ado, let's see what we can do. When you sync an oscillator, basically you're asking oscillator 2 to restart every time oscillator 1 has completed one of its cycles. Of course, as pitch increases, the cycles get quicker. And what this results is in is an interesting timbre change to the sound, as opposed to more of a pitch, discernible pitch sound. So, let's bring in oscillator 2, and let's make sure oscillator sync is turned on with shift and the os2 button. Now I'll hold a note here on OSC1 and now play some notes on the second oscillator. As you can hear there, oscillator 1 is keeping the pitch of the sound, whereas the interaction of the restarting oscillator, if you like, on oscillator 2 is causing some quite interesting timbre changes. Now the circuit monostation is a true paraphonic synthesizer and Rather usefully, we have our own dedicated sequencer for oscillator 2. So we can use this to actually produce some quite, uh, quite melodic and quite interesting um, sequences, but rather than control pitch of the oscillator, to actually control the sync. So let's just restart the sound. So we've gone to an initialized patch, and here we have oscillator 1 just playing a sawtooth. So let's place a single note here, and we'll put a long gate value on there. It's going to be a long sustained note. Now I'll turn on oscillator sync. We'll go to the oscillator 2 note sequence. And now let's place some notes on the actual sequencer. I'm just quite randomly tapping in the notes here. Not too concerned about the pitch because, of course, it's more going to change the sound as opposed to the pitch. Let's bring up oscillator 2, which is where the synced oscillator output will come from, and have a quick listen. You'll get quite a different interaction with the sound on higher notes than you will with lower notes. So you can use oscillator sync in really quite an interesting way on the circuit monostation. By having your two separate oscillator sequences, you can really go to town with creating some really quite interesting and quite melodious uh, oscillator sync patterns. So that was taking a look at the circuit monostation and using the second oscillator sequencer to control the sync of oscillator 2. It's quite an interesting approach and can yield some quite unusual and, and interesting sounds. So why not have a play around with that and see how you get on. Anyway, thanks very much for watching.